easy water changes. One gallon. So I went out and got a filter. So I went with this Quiet Flow internal power filter. Um, it's up to three gallons. So um, I also got a pump as well because I had a I had an air stone there. Here, I just put it away. I have one of these air stones here, but it was too much uh, um, fuzzy white um, 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 air bubbles everywhere. And I like to look, and it was white, it looked like protein stick skimmer. So um, I took it off. Um, this is way better. So here goes it. So this is the two, this is the uh, two to 15 gallon uh, heater. This is the, the airline that I bring the bubbles in here. This is my two gallon uh, filter. This is the pump that I, that I got. This is 53, 53, 52, 53 G, uh, GHP. So um, it works pretty good. The flow is pretty good uh, in the tank. Uh, and I was lacking some flow. I had two of these in here because I had a double pump. Um, but uh, it was too loud. Um, and it was yeah it was too, it was too loud you know like I said and um uh, it was too many uh, white for, uh, bubbles in the, in the tank and it didn't look good um, so you know um, so I got rid of the I uh, one and I, and I went with the uh, I went with I have a, a bunch of these laying around it's only one um, in bubble intake in air intake I mean. So it was quiet, you can hear it, so um, it works good. So this completes all that, you know. I wasn't I wasn't gonna use the filter, I was gonna just let, let it um, just let it um, just do water changes. But it was too uh, I had too much debris in here, you know, looking a little uh, dirty. So I went out and got one. And since then the next day it was all cleared up. So um, so I'm glad I got that I got I got one and it's quiet, it can barely, you can't you can even hear it, you know? But um, those of you who have a small tank, um, a Pico tank or a little Nano, these are fine. They have different sizes. Uh, they have a, a 10 gallon, um, uh, maybe a five gallon, you know, and they all look like uh, this right here. So, um, yeah, it look like this. And you can hang it, it has certain, certain cups on the um, on the back, and that's how it is um, held back here. Um, or oh, and it has two. Um, it has a, it's, what's included is um, two sticks. Or, uh, uh, the projection, the projection on the on the back of your tank as well. So um, so if you want to hang it on your back of your tank, you can. I can't get out. You can so um 
So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching. Passion to read. This is an update on the 2000 Pico tank, retank. Um, so I upgraded the light. I didn't like this light at all. Um, here's the original light that came in. You know, I didn't like it. You know, and plus um, it was leaking on the edge here where the water come up. Um, and it falls down back down and rings back down on the, on the, um, the hood. It come on, it, the way it was coming out these little seams here. Because this is an outside lip, not an inner lip. So, so um, I ordered these hood clips um, from Amazon. So, four came in, in a pack. You know, so, and this is held together by some glue so um because uh they was a little loose uh, because uh the dimensions right here is uh, it's, it's a little bit thinner and this is thicker but the glue took care of that it's on sturdy all of them is on sturdy can't remove it only a bunch so um so i got these in place i'm like man how am i make a, a hood so i was gonna make a trip to home depot you know just to see what um with um, with uh, what's with available um, materials, um, but I got I think like you know I might got some stuff at home, so um, so what I came up with um uh, well, is is, um, is this a little um, I had some mesh, some uh, nylon mesh, and um, I had an old um. It's called a bucket, a white bucket. So the hood was just laying around. Um, so I just used I just used what I had. So I cut the uh, ins uh, the hood, and, um, and um, I got some nylon fabric here that I had uh, from uh, from my window screens, um, and I just again I used glue. You know. And it's on the sturdy, and um, and it just goes on, just a cover. You know, nothing too fancy. I just messed this up. I had it all oh, good, but um, I fixed that in a minute. But it, it just lays, it just lays there. You know, like I said, no, nothing too fancy, nothing too um, you know, um, not even time consuming. You know. And it, and it works. This is just what I wanted, you know. It's a, a rimless, you know, just to protect you know for fish to jump jump out. And I have um, I have a dance one here, a blue one, a yellow one. I forgot the name of them. This here is one. And I have um, I put a couple of corals in here. Um, so I put some uh, zeta, uh, toadstools, and. Uh, some zones and so all the thing I'm waiting for now is a proper light this is a LED um, a regular light you know and they have this yellow tint here but um so I ordered um uh part 30 um so I'm used with this with this kitchen, kitchen right here so I'm gonna use that I gotta fix that but um but this is um the two gallon net um pico uh, tank so I have well, I put one um camera crap in there somewhere in there. I'm just doing this work. It's all around this tank. The tank's so small that I do laps around this this tank. So I only need one. So I'm gonna get um a snail. I pulled that one right out of my um, current tank. Um, That's what I did with the, uh, the hermit crab. So, like I said, not too expensive. Um, I also ordered this. Um, I think it's. I think it's you know, 
Oh, I wanted, but I wanted this right here. You know, I'll try to find a magnet, and this is perfect because um, I, th I think it's two little fishes. That's what this is. This came from. Yeah, so um, and it's and this the magnet is strong, and uh, they do the job about keeping the tank clean. So that was a plus too. So um, I got here in the, in in the early video before. Uh, I did a water change in this. Um, I hope um, you, see, you see it already in the, um, in the earlier footage. So, um, um, so it's it's almost complete. I gotta still put some corals in here. I'm debating what to, uh, I'm, right now. I'm gonna do softies because uh, this tank is really small. So I don't want to put any LPS and everything in that. And now, so uh, I'm gonna go with softies for now. Um, I have another toadstool. Um, have some other soft corals, you know, uh, frags, of course, uh, like these are frags here, uh, that I will place in here, so, um, and, um, you know, keep building it up, you know, uh, as time grows, but, um, uh, this is, you know, um, I don't know if, uh, it's like this, this, this is, um, you know, I want to see if I can make something, uh, better, with the on um, the hood, but it's it's, do, it's good to for now. But I want to you know that way. I, as long as I got this here, I can take my time and trying to um, build it under something. Um, you know, probably more presentable than this. But um, um, but I have. But since I have it up, I have time to, to look around and um, um, see what I can uh, come up with. So, but thank you for watching this um this video. I will plan on to be short, but you know, uh, time goes on. But thanks again for watching. Thanks for uh, coming to my channel. I really do appreciate it. You know, have a wonderful day.